Hey guys, this is Andrew with AndroidCentral.com and this is the Blue Life View. It's a uh, handset from a manufacturer that you may not have heard of, but Blue is um, working to make uh, cost-effective handsets that slot in between your typical low-range handset that doesn't offer a whole lot in terms of specs and functionality and the highest-end handsets that uh, you know are six or seven hundred dollars unlocked. What we're looking at here with the Life View is a very large device, 5.7 inches, uh, uh, 5.7 inch screen that is, and it's being targeted directly at the likes of the Samsung Galaxy Mega 5.8, very similar dimensions, but the price is a bit cheaper. We're looking at $299 um, sold directly by Blue, unlocked, and it's a dual SIM variant. So behind this little panel here, it's a bit of a trouble to pry off, but there's two SIM slots underneath. And uh, so you're getting access to either T-Mobile or AT&T um, compatible bands and HSPA plus 42. So that's something you're not uh, always seeing in every unlock device. Uh, also under the hood here, we have a uh, kind of no name MediaTek 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor. So you are getting quad core though. And it's paired up with one gig of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. And in terms of performance, it really seems to do pretty well. Uh, you see, I can open up Google Plus here, scroll through everything, and it scrolls fast. We don't really notice too many uh, stutters or anything of the sort. Jumping into the app drawer, you know, I'm scrolling around and, you know, no issues really. You know, quad core processor at over one gigahertz and one gig of RAM provides you with a pretty good uh, amount of speed to work with. Now it's paired up with uh, kind of a mid-range GPU as well, so you're you know not going to get the best gaming performance. But again, talking about a $299 unlock device. So uh, onto the screen side here, we have a uh, 720p 5.7 inch uh, display, so that's about 258 ppi. Not the highest resolution. You get up nice and close, and um, text is gonna be a little bit of an issue for you. It's not gonna be the clearest thing ever, but you know, remember we're looking at, again, a cheap, cheap device, but it is an IPS LCD. The uh, viewing angles aren't the best in the world, but we've certainly seen a lot worse, and that's kind of seems to be the uh, case all around here. Uh, we also have a 12 megapixel camera on the back. Um, so again, not the best in the world, but we've seen worse uh, 12 megapixel cameras out there for sure. On the front, there's a uh, couple of sensors here along with the loudspeaker and a five megapixel front facing camera. So that's a bit of a step in the higher end uh, direction in terms of front facing cameras. We do have uh, capacitive keys on the bottom, including a menu key, and they don't seem like the most responsive. Uh, it seems to be one of the only things that we've noticed is that uh, they're really small touch targets. So uh, you do get haptic feedback when you touch the buttons, but it's not always the, the best feeling and you're not entirely sure uh, when you hit a, uh, a button or not. So on the software side, when we pull down the notification bar here, everything looks nice and clean. This is Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. Um, but they have tweaked things around. You see the settings key stays up up top there and you get a few different toggles to turn off data connection, switch between auto pro, uh, audio profiles. When you go into the settings, things are about the same as you would expect on uh, stock 4.2, but they have a few different things uh, included here. You talk uh, into the display, you get different themes to change the device, uh, look and feel. Um, you get a few different gestures that uh, when you turn the phone over in a call, it'll turn on speakerphone or you turn it over when it's ringing and it'll uh, silence it. But outside of those few tweaks, you don't get anything big in the uh, app drawer or anything. You get file manager, FM radio, um, most everything else has been installed by us, you know, a separate app to uh, show you uh, updates. You get a, a widget for calendar and widget for clock and weather, things like that. Nothing huge though. Quick rock around the outside, we see that uh, it may look like metal, but this certainly is kind of a plasticky material. It uh, seems pretty well uh, made. Both of these drawers do come off, although the bottom one isn't really meant to come off, but it comes off anyways. It's kind of a interesting phenomenon there. Uh, around the sides and everything, it's just a uh, kind of a glossy plastic device, but pretty well made again for the price that we're talking here 
$299 unlocked. It's kind of hard to argue with much of what Blue is offering here. If you need a cheap device, you want something big with a uh, pretty good looking screen, acceptable internals, um, this might be one to uh, take a look at in this price range.